What's going on guys? I'm Melissa. Welcome to my channel. I'm here with the beautiful Malia. She's camera shy. It's okay. You guys know who she is. We are making empanadas. So we got our already bought pre-made. I did not make them out of scratch. My pre-bought disc called from the Goya section in Walmart or Target. <laughs> So you buy these, they're frozen, you know. And then you make the meat. You're gonna add meat, potatoes, some seasoning, some garlic, some olives, whatever you prefer. You can make chicken ones, you can make pastry ones, but we're gonna make some beef ones. And Malia's gonna help, so yeah. It's all about the beef. All about the beef. Some salt and pepper, which I use Himalayan salt. They say it's better. I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's a nice amount. You know, it's beef and beef sucks it up. Pepper. Now I'm gonna be lazy and I'm gonna be straight up because I like to do things easily. So instead of cutting up potatoes and all this stuff, you just <laughs> already done <laughs> works makes it easy right make life easy not harder for yourself we're gonna open those up this is for you guys that have never seen melissa opening a can <laughs> now you're gonna drain the juice obviously And you really can't tell the difference when you can ask Jose because he was like, ew, canned potatoes. And I made some, he was like, wow, those are really good. So see, even if you make corned beef, use these too. You don't gotta freaking cut potatoes up, like diced potatoes already done. <laughs> <laughs> so where do the potatoes go into your meat? Yes, but we need to cook the meat a little bit. It's a lot of beef, probably didn't need this much. So I'm gonna cook some beef and then take some, put to the side. Maybe you can use it for chili later on or something else. It was way too big beef. So now you can use garlic salt, sazon. I'm going to use real garlic in it. It's a little more flavor. Then, I like olives in mine, so we're going to cut up some olives. See, guys, all that Goya. It's all about the Goya. So now Jose is going to sing to you guys some Spanish music. <laughs> <laughs> He's authentically pure Spanish. Like I have Italian in me. I have Irish, German, and Puerto Rican. He is 100% Puerto Rico. No, Puerto Rico. <laughs> Puerto Rican. <laughs> yes, I'm 100% Puerto Rico, guys. <laughs> All right. So now that the meat is done, as you can see, it's done. Now we're gonna come over here. This is something you do have to fry. I don't know if you could bake them. I don't even know if they would taste good baked. Maybe you could though. If you try that, let me know down in the comments if you've ever baked an empanada. So I have this little fryer here, you know, and I bought sunflower oil. You can buy, I think, whatever oil. I don't think it matters if you buy peanut butter oil, canola oil, whatever you prefer. So I don't really fry much, but bad for your heart. So we're gonna pour this in here. So, 
probably use the other one as well. Not all of it, but maybe enough oil to. I remember I was born in the 80s, you know, so back in the day, they had this big old can. It was called Crisco and it was white lard. And that's what we used to fry things. You remember that, babe? Your mom used that when she cooked? I don't know. I don't yeah, know. It was just like this big container. It was just, <laughs> it was like big container and you'd scoop a big chunk of lard out. It was white and you'd, it would be grease. That's what we used. Well, my mom used it. Now we use sunflower oil from sunflower. I don't think so. No, I've never seen that. Like when I was yeah. like growing up now, we only had, always had like bottles like that. Crisco was like the cheapest thing. It was like a big, I mean, you got a big can and it was just pure white. And it like turned right. in, it turned into oil like this when you when it got hot. Nope, I don't, I don't remember them using that. Mm. This is the pan that you're gonna put everything in. So hopefully Malia's gonna help me. I don't know, she's being a little standoffish. So why we're gonna get these ready? We're gonna go ahead and turn this on, and we're gonna turn this to. I really have no idea, so I'm gonna be guessing. So if you want to look it up on Google, you do that. But I'm going to do like 300, maybe. I say 350. 350. So we'll let that sit. So now we're going to come over here. I don't know. These empanadas are looking. Take this. A bit rough. And you're going to take your one disc here. See? Put it down. And for this, you do need a fork for the edges. So this here is going to be your little utensil. So I don't know. You use that to close them up. So you're gonna put a good amount in the middle. So you just scoop, you know. And then you're gonna roll this over. And start here at the edges and you're just gonna slightly push it down. You're gonna go all the way around. Make sure it's closed. You had to use yours. <laughs> and that, my friends, is an empanada uncooked. And now when the grease gets hot, we'll put it in the grease. And Look at that meat. It looks so yummy. So now we'll use the rest of these weird discs. And again, you guys can use whatever you want. You know, Malia likes shredded chicken empanadas. Um, you could probably even do apple turnover empanadas, you know, make it, you could do vegan apple, no. Yeah, you could probably do vegan, do fake beef. You know, they sell fake, sorry guys, plant-based beef at the stores. <laughs> and then you make a plant-based one. She stole my fork. That's all you do though. So, you know, I was thinking about so I was thinking about doing more videos of cooking, like flan, I hate flan, but OMG, Jose made some flan and let me tell you, it was the best flan I've ever eaten. It was really, really good. So I was thinking about making a video with Jose on how to make his flan. Let me know in the comments below if you wanna see more cooking videos. I'm not gonna be all like spiffy, I'm not like a Gordon Ramsay cook or anything, but I found pretty good. <laughs> So let me know down below if you like these videos. If not, let me know too and I won't do them. So here's the second one. Flip, fork it. Just fork her all the way around. <laughs> and then we're going to take this and we're going to put it in the basket. Pretty big Hopefully, now the way to see if oil is done, I mean, it's only that I know. You take a little bit of water on your hand, flick it in there, and it is not ready because it will, it will, um, what is it called? Like, whoosh, back at you when you put it in the water. Yeah? Okay. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back, and we'll let you know what they look like when they're being cooked. <laughs> So this thing is ready to go because it's sounding like it's crazy over there. Make sure before you start cooking these though, you have a napkin with tissue on it. You know, so you put it all at least done. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna go ahead and set these in here. And let those crack.
Okay, so they look like they're done. If you come here, Jose says they're done, you know, like, so they got that, you know, crunch look. I'm gonna let it sit here just for, I think it's a little bit too much oil, so I can't even let it sit here, because look, it goes back in the oil. So we'll just, got my paper there, and I'm gonna go ahead and toss those there. And then add another one in here. I'm just gonna add one. That tiny one? That's Malia's tiny one, right, Malia? Yep. So we're gonna put another one in, and then, you know, you gotta be careful because, you know, they're hot. They just came out of the grease. You don't wanna bite into it. You're gonna burn yourself. It's scorching hot. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut into it. Show, show, show the, the bite in into something hot face. <laughs> So, ah! yeah, even the juices are going to be hot. But that is what it's going to look like, you know, on the inside. So it's hot. My hands are even burning, but it's juicy. You got to be careful. It looks delicious. So if you liked our cooking, <laughs> which, you know, she's, yeah. This is going to be my next recipe. It is called banana bread. I've never made it before in my entire life. But my mom put something on Facebook about you use cake mix, your bananas. It said pecans, but I swear it's walnuts, right? Walnuts have you always chips. been in banana I always thought bread. it was walnuts, too. So I'm using walnuts. So if you like this video, I'm going to record this anyway. But if you guys didn't like this, i just throw this video out. But I'm still going to make it, okay? Yay! Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Give it a like. Comment down below. And until next time, see you guys.